comrades, it's Premier River, and I am back again. Well, not again. I am back looking at the super secret Reverstan rail crane testing facility. <laughs> we have unlimited money in our facility because these tests are super critical to our nation's future prosperity. And in addition to that, I have imported only the most satisfied people, so they will be very unlikely to escape on us. But since they are some of our best and most loyal citizens, I have provided them with everything that they need in order to help us conduct these tests. Every other house here, the one on the left-hand side, so you can see each rail crane yard is provided with two of the largest houses or the you know largest capacity houses, 189 people. I've maxed them all out as best I can. I don't know if there's any difference between the different kinds of workers, but I don't know. So, but I did the best I could. And this one is assigned to just work here. And then this one can go either place. I imagine they can come up here going around and go in, but that's fine too. It's, we really don't need that many of them just because the, the, each of the rail cranes only needs like up to 40 people. So, so even if we have three shifts of 40 people, that's only 120. So we should have plenty of extra people to keep these yards as full as possible. You can see nobody's walking, or maybe you zoom in. Nobody's going to work right now because there's no work to do, but they're keeping themselves happy. I fast forwarded the time to the 15th of January, the very beginning of the day, so we can use the game time as a timing mechanism, right? It's probably the fairest thing to do in some ways. I will play it in fast forward time, but you can get an idea of how long it takes by knowing that this is the very beginning of January 15th as we start this particular test. And what I would like to do is actually get the first test running and then we can talk more about how I set it up and, and just things. Now at some point I'm going to fast forward a fair amount, like do like a time delay kind of thing. but. There's four different tests that I have set up. The first one is to just build regular rail. Now this should just be, it looks like a right, like we're building electrical track, but it is actually, there is rail underneath of there. All right, so now the way I set it up is each one of these car, or each one of these uh, rail construction offices has one of the five thing in the order of their value or their, their cost to buy. So this one, the first one over here on the left has an MUV 69. The second one has the AGM, M, AGMU. The third one, the DKGU5. The fourth one will have the Laying Crane UK25. And then the uh, fifth one has the KZH461. So now what I need to do is go to each of these and assign them one of their one of the assignments, right? And I did this so that they would not start while I was fast forwarding time. So I don't have them on auto search. Otherwise, in between each test, we, we have a problem. <laughs> so like in other words, I'm going to do the same thing on the next test, whichever date we end up with. Let's make sure each one is assigned to the middle track. So this is just building a regular fast middle track. Like when I say fast, I mean the ones with the prefab panels. Now I haven't, I did a bunch of testing. So I really, this is more of a demonstration than an actual test for me. But, uh, you know, I just wanted to show which trains do what best, if there's any significant difference between them. And what I'll say is I didn't see any difference between the speeds in which they build the fast track and the slow track, right? So it doesn't matter whether you're building the prefab panel track or the wood track. Now, there might be some itty bitty difference, but like the results were basically the same. Like, I don't know if <laughs> they may be building the, the wooden base track faster, but they all do it in the same rate, if that makes sense. Like this guy ended up wherever he ended up same and this guy ended up in the same proportion like this guy's not faster building wood track relative to this guy type thing i hope that makes sense all right well anyway i can explain more once time is going so what i'm hoping for here let's spin around 
and I'll show you the start. I think it's easier to do here. Hopefully everybody, sometimes they don't all come out at the same time. I'm kind of hoping they do. <laughs> They're usually pretty quick. So let's get time going just for the sake of, like I said, the video not taking too long. This in some ways will be a boring video. You might want to jump forward in time if you don't want to watch the fast forwarded part. All right, but here we go. Three, two, one, go. So they all come out about the same. This guy got out a little early. Yeah, I don't know why. Like, sometimes they come out better than that, but there they go. So, you know, take that for what you will. I, there's no real... I have no real control over that, right? This guy, you could say, got a little bit of a head start. Oh, you know what? I do want to do the fastest mode. It doesn't really matter because we're timing it based on this, right? So I'll even... I don't know. I'll write it down for the sake of having written it down, you know? Just so we know, you know, how many days does it take? Now, you can see this guy's jumping out to an early lead. And the other thing to explain is the distance of this piece of track, right? Well, it, I could have shown it better, but it's 580 work days. That's the, like, as you move your track up and down, that's like the finest measurement I can do. You know, as I move it a little bit further... And the reason for 580 is I came here as carefully as I could. And with the wireframe on, you'll see that this is, this piece of track here that I just selected is as, as close as I can get it to exactly 10 blocks long. Now, in the past when I've measured, and I could be wrong, but it seems that each one of these blocks represents 10 meters. So that's 100 meters of track, right? And it took 580 work days and 240 tons of gravel. If these tracks, you know, like uh, 10 of these would be a kilometer, right? So this should represent a kilometer in the game. So from here up to here. Now, this is not perfectly level. It's actually a bit uphill coming this way. But this should represent exactly a kilometer. Now, this one here is actually a kilometer as well. The last race, which you haven't seen, is to build a half a kilometer of track, but do it starting about two kilometers away, a little bit over two kilometers. Let's turn off this wireframe. A little over two kilometers. I'm gonna close this. Other than the fact that we already have, you know, this beginning bit of the track, right? Does that make sense? And then each one of these, I tried real carefully to make them about the exact shape. It's, you know, close enough. So let's see, how is our race going? One of the things I noticed is that these two guys have the same exact amount of, of cargo. So the, the advantage that this one has is that he's faster when it comes to driving back and forth. The advantage that this one has is that he lays the track faster. So you can see they both get to like the same exact point when they get done. Now this guy has a little bit smaller, but he's very similar to this otherwise. Like he's got the same speed, but he has less cargo, right? So he can't get quite as much done each time he drives back and forth. Now these guys, they seem to have, you know, this guy seems to have the least cargo in some ways, but it doesn't, it doesn't actually appear that way. So this guy, you know, even though he's the second most expensive, doesn't seem to be able to beat this guy as a general, general point. But we'll see what happens when we get to the end of a kilometer, right? And we'll see, can this guy, as these strokes get longer, can this guy end up catching up to this guy by the by the kilometer's end, right? So who's faster at building a kilometer of track? Now, if we step back and look, so you can gauge that in your map, you know, you're talking about what I would consider very close to the rail construction yard. Like this, like the majority of the rail construction that I've done is further away than this from the yard, right? It's further than a kilometer. And again, it, it's without wanting to build these things like all over the place, I think the ability for a train to get out there and build track further away is a, is a much bigger benefit 
in my opinion. But we'll get to the conclusions at the end for the most part. We'll let, let this uh, go. So I'm not sure how best to show the race. <laughs> you know, like, what I think I'll do is be quiet for a little while and just try to keep as many of them in there. I'm sorry for you iPad and, and other mobile device tiny screen viewers, but, you know, I'll try to keep it zoomed in and keep as many of the trains on there as I can. Probably show the leaders of the race a little more than less. But we'll just, uh, you know, I'll be quiet for a minute so I can fast forward it. Then we'll talk about it as we get done this leg of the of the race. Okay, I, thought, I forgot to say this, but I intend to stop the races just to keep them shorter. You guys could, I'm not going to let each one of these guys finish. It would take a lot longer for this guy to get done. You can see this guy's almost done. We're, we're neck and neck here in a sense. You know, it's definitely a very close race in this particular case. Let's spin around a little bit. But you can see this guy's getting out here, and if you watched the fast forward, you could probably tell this guy's going to be finished. This guy's just getting back. I can see it. Probably hard to see on YouTube, but I can see he just got into the yard. So this guy's going to finish his section of track first, and then what I'll do is I'll just freeze the game right there, and then we'll, we'll reset things up for our next thing. But we'll also take a look at how far each one of them got just building regular old track for one kilometer and yeah you see this guy's coming back so he's you know he's not far behind but he is just not going to make it there we go completed and paused so where were we you know very close on these two but you'd have to give the nod by a little bit you know like that's what 95 percent completed here you know i don't know the exact percentage there so this guy is just slightly slower in our first contest and lay in the track now this guy is here let's see can we zoom out and then look down yeah we'll, we'll zoom out and we'll kind of do like this so this is about as close as i can get to you know you know the middle of my screen here somewhere like this would be would be the middle of the track. So this guy got over 50% done and, he, and he's heading out with more materials worth noting, right? Like he, you know, he's definitely ready to build even more than that. This guy's heading back. I would give him like a 45% and this guy a 50%. 
this guy's definitely over like maybe close to 60 percent especially considering he's heading back out with more materials so there we go so that's that's pretty much the results when you look at how much these things cost you know, these guys did okay, about half the amount, and this guy a little better than half, but he is more expensive than these two. Now, one of the questions, too, remember, is this is kind of the test of building a close-in track, right? Who's the fastest track layer with the actual engine speed not making so much difference? So the next test that I want to do is actually our two-mile out, or two, say, listen to me, I'm an American, two-kilometer out test. Like, who can build the half this track the fastest all right because that's going to test their speed and in some ways i feel like this is a more realistic test for what you might do right again if we take a look at how far away we are let's move back a little bit all right this i mean this is just very normal for me to send them out this far to you know to, to do it and we'll see how much the results vary right so what i would like to do and I'll come in here and show you another thing. There's no doubt. Oh, this is this is a plus. I'm on the test, so I don't know if 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 you don't have the experimental slash test uh, version of the game. I don't know if you have this yet. But look, they gave us this delete the excess items in there, so we can delete like 0.79 tons of this resource. So in any event, what I'm going to do is come into each one of these and cancel what they're doing. Now notice how it threw extra stuff in. The same thing happens when they come back from a job that they've completed, but they have they they didn't do the next job, so they, they come back with extra stuff. They don't take the exact right amount. But watch this. We can we can come in here and say delete this until we get down to the amount where that's no longer red. See that? So we could delete this if we want. Now, it doesn't make too much difference when you only have one train in there. But when you have four trains, that's why I'm jamming up. There's no doubt. It has nothing to do with nothing to do with anything I'm doing. And that's you can tell that's why they put this in here. So in any event, it doesn't, like I said, it really doesn't make too much difference to us here. But I will cancel each of these. See, if they had some stuff in there, we can come in here, get that back down. Now, we'll just auto-purchase back to that point. But yep, okay, I already did that one. Let's, let's get rid of this one. Let's start the next test up, because this one will take the longest. All right, and then what I want to do is I'll do what I did before. Now, none of these should be assigned, so we're going to hit play. And I'm just going to wait until February 27th pops up there. And we should note that it was February 26th that we got done that first test. So that's how long it took them to do that track was from January 15th to February 26th and it looks like I don't know exactly I wasn't paying attention to exactly when it flipped but it was looks like it was the beginning of the 26th right now, I don't know if February has <laughs> does February 1960 have the extra leap day all right come on I don't want to put it on fast forward because that will go by too fast. But yes, yeah, so that was definitely the beginning of February 26th. And again, how much does it actually matter? There we go. All right, so I'm going to write that down just so. And then maybe we'll figure out the days. I don't know. Yeah, this guy's still just heading back, unfortunately. Um... Well, let's just, I gotta, we have to get him back in there. Yeah, they, they stop at the beginning. What we'll do is, we'll, and they, by the way, even after they complete this, when they're leaving that job, they stop there. They won't, he won't pause like that the next time he goes through. But we'll, we'll let this go up to the next, oh, you know what, we have to play anyway, because I need to fund each of these. So we're, we're going to complete these tracks now that we've seen how far they can make it, right? Yeah, so we have to play forward more anyway. All right, so let's play forward until 28th, which should give plenty, make sure all these tracks get completed, right? Yep. Good. 
And then once we stop playing forward, we'll assign that far away track, and then we'll we'll see how they do on that one. In that race, I probably will just time lapse the whole entire thing, especially because we can see, you know, exactly who gets there first and all that kind of thing. And I'll try to keep an eye when we do, just to make sure we don't get a 29th of February. There we go. All right, so we're on the 28th. And what I'm going to do, let's open up each one of these in order. All right. And then when we get up there, I can know which track to assign to who. All right. So let's go over there. This first one, oops, I guess it wouldn't let me do it otherwise, but it'll just keep it straight anyhow. All right. Assign this guy doesn't connect what <laughs> okay uh, I don't know what I did I think it was this one wasn't it somehow he got below that one yep let's make sure that got assigned yep All right, so now that we, now are we in the right yep that should be this one yep and that should be this one good all right, so now they're all assigned, and we'll head back down here, and we'll we'll see who you know see who comes out first. I mean, if you want to adjust for that in your minds, because some like you'll see that if you saw the way the last one started, you know it's a little bit different. Now notice this guy came back because he finished that job. This is what I was talking about, right? So again, it's it's not going to make much difference in this particular scenario. So that's why I was having so many problems, though, is because they're bringing that stuff back when they get done a job and when they get a lot of little elect. And anyway, I'll get into it probably in the regular series. But anyway. All right. So we're ready, I think. Three, two, one, go. See, this guy shot out of the gate. Man, they all got a pretty even start, right? So let's follow them out this way. And I'm just going to be quiet and try to keep them all in sight as best I can, or at least the leaders. Look, this guy, yep, he is the 60 mile per hour one. He is getting a good head start on the rest of them. These two are 50, so they probably came out slightly different times. And this guy is 55. So now whether they're actually traveling that speed, I don't know, but they're certainly proportionally correct. Yeah, so I'm going to jump in over here, spin around so we're, you know, following the action as best we can. And I'll probably just leave it. Uh, it's a little bit bummer that the hills are there. Maybe I can go tilt down a little bit. Yeah, you guys will be able to see a little bit better, I think, this way. Yeah. And then I'll, once we get a little bit further along, I'll, I'll move over. Hopefully that's as big as I can make it for everybody to see. So... There we go. I'm going to be quiet and we're going to let this uh, see how it plays out.
Okay, here comes, I believe, our winner down the home stretch. I'm not sure where the other guy is, but once he gets done, we'll pause and we'll take another little evaluation of where we're at with each of them. And then we'll give him some time to get back, right? Boom. Okay, so there we are. So we'll try to do the same thing where we just sort of, at least from the bottom of the screen, sort of, oh, I want to turn this way a bit. And let me just move over here and a little bit out. So that's, you know, pretty close, I think, to a square assessment. So we can see now, you know, the most interesting result you can see from this. And, th and again, this is a demonstration. I kind of knew this would happen. So now that we're two kilometers away and we built this half kilometer track, you can see that this guy and this guy got less done, again, which which makes sense because they're carrying less. So they have to go further. So even though their speed is faster, it's not twice as fast, right? So they actually did worse in this test where you might expect them to do a little bit better compared to this guy. The fact is, is that this guy, you know, because he just carries like twice as much or whatever it is, he's just still outclassing them. Now, I think if you went like 30 kilometers away, these guys would do better, right? Because then the travel distance gives them a better chance to make up for it. But their, their speed increase just doesn't compare to this guy. Now, again, they're less than half the price, I think, or whatever. So, it's, so that makes sense within the game, you know, mechanics versus the price of buying. But again, the most interesting thing is that at this point, you know, two kilometers away, you're actually probably better off with the number three, which was a little bit surprising to me. I mean, you know, logic might have said that to me, but you, you know, so in other words, that 50 kilometer speed difference. Now I want to say, yeah, look, and I would even say that, you know, this guy is probably, if we let the game run, this guy is probably might even get ahead of him eventually, but I think it's going to be a neck and neck thing. You, pro you could even argue since, well, is this guy heading out or in? You can't. Uh, he's got stuff on him. So, you know, this guy does carry a bunch more. So even though it looks like this guy's ahead, he's probably actually a little bit further behind because when they both do get out here, like this guy's going to build this much track, but then this guy's going to build this much, right? So... You know, it's it's. I would have to give the nod to this one, but you can start to see it at this distance. You know, this guy starts catching up to this guy. And anyway, so there, there's the evaluation of, of that race. And I'm not going to do anything special with that other than let's play time forward now so that other guy has a chance to get back. And we're going to cancel each one of these. escape button and that should put all of them back in their homes like I said then we'll have to wait for this one and then we'll do we'll do the electrical track test next how does that sound so how how long is it gonna take this guy yeah let's see it's kind of funny like even though he's done this track because he's like coming out from working on it he like still stops here like but then you'll notice if we yeah, see, like he stops, like they're still, like like they stop at the entrance of each construction, and then start up again. But there we go. So like, so he should get back in a minute. All right. So what else is there? How's our people doing? Our people are doing fine. How are our people doing? And yeah, a couple of people coming in here to work, but the you know work is staying pretty steady. And this is why even in the regular game, I don't get too excited if it's not 100% full of people, especially if you're busing or anything, people in and out. Oh, I didn't notice the date. I guess we'll have to, I'm not that worried about the dates. If you guys are worried about the date, go back and watch the video. I'm not going to keep track of that. I just decided. 
it just doesn't matter. I mean, if you want an idea of how long it takes, you can, you know, it's, it's pretty obvious if you look at the, at the thing now that I think about it. All right. Oh, you know what? Let's do fast forward since why are we doing it in slow mode, right? Yeah, so the next test will be doing this electrical track. And this guy won't really be able to participate, but we'll assign him to it just for the sake of assigning him to it. Come on, buddy. I guess we could, well, no, I don't think there's any real way to clear them off the track other than like to sell it and rebuy it again. There we go. All right, so let's pause. Well, for those of you who might be keeping track, we'll wait till we get to the 12th here. And then I'll pause it and then assign the electrical track. There you go. All right, so let's start here. Save messed me up. Oh, that's right. So now what we have to do is, yeah, we have to buy electrical components for each one. So I'm going to buy as many of those as we can. So as we assign the track, I think that's the only thing that they would be missing. So we'll assign this one. I don't know. I, this might not affect the this area, right? I don't know how the overall capacity thing is works exactly. I'll just hit the play pause like, well, you know what? I'm not even going to do that. I was going to say that it should fill up with the electrical components like really fast, I hope. And if not, whatever, they'll all theoretically have the same, <laughs> the same shot at it anyway, right? All right, so let's see what this guy, before we even start, let's see what this guy says. No train set capable of current construction. See that? So this is like an upgraded track. Like I built the track. So the, the point of this race is just to see how fast they could do the electrical. Um, all of this is stemming from a little bit of a discussion or, you know, back and forth with the comments with Radomir and I about what's best. And one of his statements was that it's faster to build with this guy. And then I think he was trying to say use one of these two red ones. I'm not sure which one he meant. But let's see if any one of these is faster than this guy, to be honest, with building, you know, the electrical track. Ready, set, go. Go faster. All right, so this guy got off to a real good start, which again is, if you started this whole thing again, that may or may not happen. So let's turn to the, turn to the right and We'll do kind of the same thing we did before where I'll be quiet so we can fast forward so the video is not a hundred years long. Another race completed that quickly. I backed out during the fast forwarding. Hopefully that didn't mess your vision up. But I wanted to point out that this guy got about 60% of this track done in the first shot. So he's going back with more stuff on there. So if this was an even longer course, he would have still gotten it completed very quickly. And then the other thing to notice is that it was right in about this area. This guy covered colors. Ugh. This guy carries about half of what this guy does. So again, these are very similar 
rail cars in, the, in their speed and every other way, except for the fact that this guy only carries half as much cargo, which makes them, you know, half as efficient, and it gets worse as you get further out, right? Because the more trips back and forth is time not actually putting down track or whatever else you're working on. Um, these two guys, about where we expected, you know, if we zoom out and do our kind of get it halfway in the screen, I mean, they got about half done. This guy even less. Um, but again, like about what we expected. It, it's a little bit of a timing thing, right? If, if you know, if things were a little bit different, I mean, he's going to plow ahead another stretch. So, you know, these guys are about half of what that guy could do. This guy, again, giving credit where it's due, you know, would have, you know, with another couple trips, he would be done. So he's, again, over halfway of what this guy could do on this little test. All right, so let's get the last and final test. Is any one of them better at bridge building? All right, so let's... Uh, Let's go along and cancel again all of their, oops. Cancel each of their things. And that should send them instantly back. Looks like the escape button's probably a little easier. Yeah, we can cancel this. All right, and then we'll play fast forward until this guy gets back in his home. Come on, buddy. So that was pretty quick. So again, hands down winner, considering this guy can't even do it. Big negative points. You know, if you were in the uh, triathlon, you can't swim. It's, you know, you don't even belong in the tri triathlon. So there's a big, huge asterisk next to this guy's name, right? I'm going to, this time we'll just pause it from fast forward mode on the 22nd. That way we don't have to wait quite as long staring at the, uh, or I don't have to wait quite as long. Come on, go. Boy, that's a long time even in fast forward mode, it feels like. There we go. All right, close enough. So now what we want to do is the same kind of thing we were doing before where we're going to assign the bridge building. Missing resources bricks. Okay. Yeah, we'll take a look at that. Well, let's see. Let's take a look at what that project needs. Brick, steel, and prefab panels, right? So what I want to do is let's come up to purchase for each one and brick, steel, and prefab panels. So means we don't need the boards, right? So let's get rid of the boards and then I'll put yeah, each of those on the maximum. All right, so we're going to do this one, purchase bricks. Yep, see, it won't let me unless I take some of these boards off of there. Oop, and I didn't assign that one. Um, you know what? I kind of want to, you know what? I'm going to unassign that for a second. Let's get all these. I feel better if we... We have a better chance of a test if we can make sure each of them has what they need first, right? So let's go up there and like do the maximum here. This one seems to have less prefab panels. Well, yeah, I think it's fine. So let's do this. I think this is the last one, but this way we can double check. We probably should have, if I had realized this, I would have done it before we. All right, so let's just play at regular time. Make sure they all have everything they need. And see this guy, see this is where we can come in here and take him down to like, quote, where he should be in a sense. See, like that's real nice. At least you can clear up the problems you know, a lot easier if, if you can't get, you know, construction going because you got this problem. All right, so let's, uh, oops. Now why, why is this guy not purchasing? 
more bricks. That's weird. Did I, not, I just not do something right there? Yep, that guy's taken care of. Well, I guess we could get rid of their boards, but like I said, I don't think it makes any difference. This guy has what he needs. Probably just empty the whole yard out, couldn't I? <clears throat> and we lost the 23rd. I was hoping to get this done before the before the 23rd, right? But I was messing around too much. All right, good enough. So we're purchasing everything we need. We don't need those boards. I don't think they're causing any problems. So let's go ahead and fast forward. So this says the 24th now. Then we'll assign everything and we could do our final test. There's another test you guys would like to see, but I think just to be honest with you, all of the testing I've done, oops, that was on the 24th. I don't know how far we went into it, but it probably doesn't matter that much. I doubt, I, you know, you guys get the idea. But if you are worried about how long it actually takes and you want to compare these results somehow to your results, then you'll have the in-game days to compare to your results. All right, I left this guy open for a reason. This train is not able to build bridges. So, so he can't do electrical track and he can't do this. So keep that in mind as you go to purchase things that, you know, even though he's not faster other than for the first 600 meters or so, he also can't build many of the things that you may assign him to. So if you just like the way he looks then that's wonderful. Go for it. All right. So anyway, let's spin around like we have been before. Well, this whole, this whole race, well, no, I, I'll spin around this way so we can see who comes out first. Not that it matters too much, but okay. Ready? One, two, three, go. Yep. See, now this guy came out first. You see that? Like no matter, there's no real pure rhyme or reason as to why you know, I mean, I'm sure computers don't do things randomly, right? So I'm sure there's a reason one of them's coming out first, but at the same time, there's there's no apparent logic <laughs> to why they, one would come out first or not. All right, so I'm going to be quiet while they build these bridges, and then, and then obviously when one of them gets finished, we'll see how each one of them did and, and go from there. Okay, there we go. 
there are your results. This guy is finished. Let's take it. So that's 100% completed. This guy unable to participate. Take a look. This guy, you know, relatively speaking, actually did better this time, right? With with the difference in the trips not making so much, he could get back and forth quite quickly. So a little bit of a surprise there, right? That this guy, if you're bridge building, is really not too far behind this one. These guys are about where we'd expect, but again, you know, for whatever reasons, it's almost like this guy went a bit slower. These guys were able to get back and forth. Now, one of the questions I'd had was, even while I was sitting there watching, I'm wondering if this was enough bricks. Like, could this guy carry more bricks if you allowed for it? But just so you know, part of the, the test, in a sense, was I didn't want to mess with, you know, like the amounts, because I think you would normally leave this balance if you were just running right you wouldn't necessarily increase you might decrease the number of boards if you really wanted to but i i generally don't ever mess with this limited amount um yeah i just don't so you could you know you just can see where this would be a nice balance so if one of them can carry more than this thing holds you know you could argue well if you had a truck sitting there maybe it would get them quicker i don't know i'm not going to get into it that much but the bottom line is, once again, we have our hands-down winner, though, though you would have to say that these trains did better relative to the other tests, right? Now, if you tried to build this further away, I think this guy's carrying capacity would come in more. Like, this guy's going to take less trips back and forth. So the further away you are, it's going to make a difference that you're carrying twice as much, right? So I'm not going to bother to build a bridge two and a half kilometers away because I think you guys get the idea but there we go so in conclusion let me open this up for a second and we'll just look at the prices and the purchasing and I've noticed that even when these go up in price they maintain their ratio you know so th these guys are generally speaking and, and along with this one all four of these are really kind of you know they're available from the very beginning this guy's not available to 1985 for whatever reasons but I, I just don't see how you know this guy in combination with any of these as Radomir suggested would actually be faster than this especially considering that you would then need to take up two slots and you would probably have to micromanage it to some degree to make sure that this guy didn't go out and start building the track instead of this guy. I, maybe the game would always default to this one. So let's say you did want to do, you know, this electrical track. Would they, you know, like for the track laying, would it send out this one? Well, this is an upgrade of track, but you know what I'm saying? If you wanted to build a new electrical track, you know, would this guy go out and always do the track laying or would the game send this guy out first? So when Rodimir said the red one, I don't know which one he meant. But in either event, I mean, this guy's far faster at laying the electrical track. So he's faster at anything but a really short distance than this guy. And, you know, on laying the track. So if you wanted to lay a track that was this long, he'll be done faster. And then he'll lay the electrical track faster than these guys would. So I don't, I don't see how a combination of anything else would be better. Um... So really, yeah, if you want the maximum out of your rail construction yard and, and also the least micromanagement, right? Here's the guy that can do everything. Um, so unless there's a real specific case where you're laying a bunch of track for some reason real close to this. And by real close, I mean like 600 meters. Because <laughs> remember, this guy caught up, even though this guy got, you know, a fair, a decent lead in the beginning, this guy had to be going faster by about this point in order to get caught up and, and win by as much as he did, right? So in other words, you know, about the halfway point or something like that, this guy got to be faster than this guy. So yeah, for me, there's just no, no question. Um, I'm gonna keep using these. It's, it's, it's a non-starter as far as, far as my testing's concerned. And I welcome any you know, if I did anything wrong with the tests, whatever, if you have a different scenario that you think for some reason I'm wrong, I'm absolutely, absolutely willing to test it. Or if you just put up your own video, I'll definitely take a look at it or whatever. I'm, I certainly don't mind the debate.
and the conversation. All right, well, now I know far more than I probably even care to <laughs> about these rail cars, but I think I've uh, pretty fully tested them. And, and again, some of the things I did were off camera just for my own sake before I decided to make this video. So, well, guys, as always, I hope you've enjoyed it. A little bit of a special episode. It's a Thursday. Um, and I will be recording my regular episode. We have trains in now, so, or I'm sorry, not trains. We have a new category here, engineering industry. So we have vehicle production line and we have space for vehicles. I'm not sure how fast we'll get to this in the regular map, but we'll talk to it about it then. And I, I, I don't know what this is. I've been trying to figure it out. Like it, I don't know how to add something to it. If anybody knows, let me know. You can bring this down. And you hit F1 and 2, and it goes from, it's like a hot bar that doesn't work or something. <laughs> you know? I mean, it, it definitely has the feelings of a hot bar, doesn't it? But how do you put something on the hot bar? I'm going to have to figure that out. Anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.